This is question number 19 and we are told 6.2 grams of phosphorus. Uh, this is question number 19 and we are told 6.2 grams of phosphorus was reacted with excess oxygen to form phos phosphorus oxide. Uh, so the word excess here is very important. Uh, determine the mass of the oxide formed and we are we are given uh, the molar mass of oxygen we have 16.0 the molar mass of phosphorus is at 1.0 uh, so to do that we need to form the equation that uh, occurred or that is, that is as a result of this reaction so we have phosphorus uh, you add which is solid uh, you add to oxygen which is a gas and this uh, will give you uh, phosphorus this is uh, oxide so that's a formula for phosphorus oxide uh, so now we balance the equation so here we have two oxygen and here we have five so we can put here two so that uh, that that will give us ten we put five there and now you can see the phosphorus uh, atoms have uh, increased to four so we put four there so that is now a balanced uh, equ equation that's a solid uh, so uh, what we have uh, the ratio of uh, that is uh, the ratio of reaction is 4 is to 5 is to 4 is to 5 uh, that is more ratio 4 is to 5 is to 2 uh, and with that we can now be able to find the number of moles of uh, phosphorus that are here so we have the mass uh, so to do that we say number of moles we calculate the number of moles by dividing mass uh, by divide mass by molar molar mass so here we have the mass is 6.2 6.2 we divide by the molar mass which is at 1.0 uh, you divide this you get 0 0.2 uh, so this is a more ratio of phosphorus and uh, we have now we can form uh, we can form the ratio of 4 is 2 that is the ratio of uh, phosphorus to phosphorus oxide is 4 is to 2 and here we have found 0 0.2 moles so how many moles are here so with this we can be able to get this is a uh, uh, moles of phosphorus uh, oxide uh, it there will be 0 0.2 we cross multiply by 2 we divide by we divide by 4 and this will give us uh, this is you divide by 2 0 0.1 uh, not g but uh, 0 0.1 uh, moles so these are the number of moles of the phosphorus oxide uh, oxide so with that we get the mass uh, mass from this formula can be obtained by number of moles you multiply by the molar mass so we need to find the molar mass of the of the phosphorus oxide uh, so we have found the most 0 0.1 uh, you multiply by here we have uh, uh, this is uh, this is for P uh, 205 uh, that is uh, now we multiply uh, 31 multiply by 2 we add that is for phosphorus we add 5 multiply by 16 uh, this is the uh, 16 here so this will give us 0 0.1 uh, is equals zero this is 64 and this is uh, 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 this is that one so this is this is 62 uh, 60, so this is 62 plus 80 so that will give us 142 so this is 142 uh, so when you multiply this you get 14.2 uh, uh, grams so the mass of uh, the mass of the oxide form that is phosphorus oxide 
is 14.2 grams and that's how you answer that question